Once upon a time, seven little goats lived happily and peacefully with their mother in a little town. This town was surrounded by green mountains where all creatures lived in peace and happiness. They always enjoyed sunny days that warmed everyone's hearts. Every animal in the town was hard working. Mother Goat was this cute town's doctor. The seven little goats went to school with their friends every morning. I am so excited today! Me too! The results for the scout auditions are finally here! I want to be a scout and go camping. I wonder if our teacher is going to choose all of us. I think he will. We are the ones who want to be scouts the most. The seven little goats entered the school garden. Good morning, kids. I will read the results of the auditions without delaying any longer. The selections were made. The seven little goats were picked because they were so eager to get in and they did their research about scouting. It's important that you have everything you need. I want you to get prepared according to the list I'm giving you now. Yes, teacher! A week seemed to go slowly for the little goats. In the meantime, they gathered everything their teacher had said. Camping day finally arrived. Yay! We're going camping today! We've got everything ready, right? Kids, I have a surprise for you. Since there's always a probability of accidents happening at the campsite, your teacher asked me to come along too. Yay! They all met with their friends at school to leave for the camp. All right, kids, if everyone ready, we can leave. Yes, yes teacher. teacher! They reached the camping area after an hour's walk. Everyone split into groups and set up their tents. Such a beautiful place, so green, so many butterflies. Yes, I love chasing after butterflies. All right, kids, you all must be so tired. Let's prepare some food together and eat. The campfire was lit. It was time for every little scout's favorite, cooking in the campfire. Everyone sat by the fire and listened to the scoutmasters telling stories. They all had so much fun. Everyone was so tired that as soon as they finished their meals, they went into their tents and fell asleep. Three little goats woke up with the first rays of sunlight. They decided to scout the area nearby.
I saw very nice fruit trees on the way here. I think we can pick some fruits for breakfast. All right, but we shouldn't go too far. The three little goats left the campsite without making a sound. You see that butterfly over there? Yes, it has great colors. I love how it flutters. Didn't you see the fruit trees? The cherries look delicious. Let's pick them and head back. Just then, they heard a rustling among the bushes. Startled, they all looked in that direction. Our friend Gazelle is here too. I wonder what she's doing here. Shush! I think I saw a big grey silhouette. Oh no! It's the big bad wolf! We can warn her by throwing the fruits. Gazelle realized something was off and saw Wolf. She got away in fear. At that moment, Wolf noticed the little goats. They started throwing the fruits towards Wolf's direction. What are you doing here, you little brats? We just came to pick some fruits. We have to head back now. Our mother and our teacher must be looking for us by now. Is that so? Your mother and your teacher will look for you a little longer. You should have thought about this before scaring Gazelle away. Bad Wolf lunged to capture the three little goats. But the little goats were faster and managed to escape. Except for one. Oh no! We have to save our brother! Okay, but how can only the two of us do it? We don't know where Bad Wolf is taking our brother. How we will find them? You're right. We have to go back immediately and get help. Meanwhile, everyone at the campsite had woken up. Mother Goat and the teacher realized that the three little goats were missing and went to look for them with others. Just as the little goats argued about what they should do, they heard the voice of their mum and their teacher. We couldn't save our brother. Bad Wolf has him. We have to go after them. They went this way. All right. We must keep calm. We should act as fast as possible. They went in the direction Bad Wolf had gone. They were thinking about how to trick Wolf and save the little goat on the way. Thankfully, the campsite was on a high place. So it wasn't so hard for them to pick up Wolf's trail. They followed him stealthily at a distance. Come on, inside. Please, let me go. I'll never be in your way again. Everyone is probably worried. Quiet now. You should have thought about this before. It's too late now. While they tried to devise a plan, they ran into the lion. 
Lion was chief of police, so they were happy to see him and told him what had happened. Bad wolf, I've been on his tail for some time now. I haven't been able to catch him red-handed. We are so happy to see you. We should approach quietly. Wolf's ears are so acute. If he hears us, he may get away again. We are so close. I can hear his voice. Oh, my baby must be so afraid. Now listen to me, little goat. I need you to knock on the door. Wolf will be so happy to see you and let you in. I'll sneak around the house and enter through the window. Mother goat and teacher, wait at the front door not to let him get away. Who is it? We are lost. Could you let us in? Wolf's eyes twinkled. Today must be my lucky day, he thought. Oh, how nice to have such guests. Come on inside, there's no need to be afraid. See, your brother is here too. <laughs> the little goats walked towards the room. At that moment, Lion watched them through the window and waited for the right opportunity. The wolf had a wicked grin on his face and he drooled all over the floor. <laughs> I got you all now! <laughs> Mother Goat and Teacher knocked on the door on Lion Signal. What now? How many more little goats are there? <laughs> Just as Wolf was about to open the door, Lion lunged at him. Wolf managed to escape his grip. I've been after you for some time, Bad Wolf. Come here! This is not fair! Where did you come from now? As Wolf ran, trying to escape from Lion, one of the little goats extended his leg in front of Wolf. He tripped over it and fell. The power of little goats! Come on, let's get Bad Wolf! All at once, the little goats attacked Wolf. Some pulled his tail, and others bit his ear and nose. The lion took the wolf from the little goats. He subdued him and locked him up in the cage. It's over, bad wolf. You'll never hurt anybody again. Where are you going to take him? Somewhere he can think about what he's done and cannot hurt anyone till he comes to his senses. Thank you. You saved them. Don't thank me. Thank those kids. They're intelligent and very brave, not to mention they make a good team. The lion walked away with Wolf. The little scouts went back to the campsite and had a fun time. Of course, now they never go far away from their mum. Once upon a time, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily in a seacoast town with lush vegetation.
the seven little goats walked to school happily every morning. They held hands as they walked to school. What's going on? School trip! School trip! School trip? Where? To a faraway place, Paris. Paris? As in Paris, France. Yes! The little goats were so excited about this trip that they couldn't wait to go home and give their mother the good news. Whoever gets home first tells our mother the news. They all ran home as fast as they could, and when they finally arrived, their hearts were pounding loud. Mom! 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 What's going on? There's a school trip to Paris. That's great. You should do some research about Paris at once. Where can we get information on Paris, Mommy? We'll look for some information on the internet. The next day, they printed out the information and read it. Whoa! The world's largest museum is in Paris, and it's called Louvre! We have to visit it for sure! But we can't see every inch of it! Why not? It's as big as 10 soccer fields. If we looked at every piece of artwork for a minute, it would take us 73 days to see everything. But there's one masterpiece we must see, Mona Lisa. Wow, I'm so excited. How about this? There are 470,000 trees in Paris. That's a lot. Also, there are 173 museums and 450 parks. Such a city of culture! Let's not forget the Eiffel Tower in Notre Dame. Millions of tourists visit these places every year. <laughs> I was just reading about it. We must definitely see both. Let's add these to our notes. We'll give them to our teacher tomorrow. The little goats jotted down the information until late that evening. Next morning, they told their teacher about what they had learned. Good job, kids. I'll create our itinerary based on your notes. The time for their Paris trip had finally arrived. The little goats went to bed early that night, but they couldn't sleep. They tossed and turned in their beds. They went to the airport. They were so excited to get on the plane for the first time. The flight was uneventful. The students chatted. Just then, one of the little goats couldn't help noticing a familiar face sitting in the back row, trying to disguise himself. When she looked closely, she realized it was Bad Wolf. He was wearing a fake moustache and glasses, but his long ears and sharp teeth gave him away. Hey, look at the back row without being too obvious. Isn't that the bad wolf? No way! What is he doing here? 
I wonder what he's up to. Oh, no. They probably recognized me. What are these little ghosts doing here anyway? I have to hide now. The bad wolf crawled out of his seat and to the lavatory. He didn't come out until the plane landed. As soon as they arrived in Paris, they went to their hotel. The bad wolf stalked them as he smiled maliciously. <laughs> so we meet again. Have fun while you can, you miserable little ghost. He who laughs last, laughs best. <laughs> The first stop of the trip was the Eiffel Tower. They stood under the tower with mouths agape because of the tower's height. <gasps> it looks much better than in books! Let's climb the tower and watch the scenery. The scenery from atop was beautiful and everything looked so tiny. After they ate some food, they went straight to the Louvre Museum. Why is it so crowded, teacher? Museums are places filled with valuable pieces, so people like to visit them. Museums shed light upon world history. After waiting in a queue, they bought tickets and entered the museum. The bad wolf was not far behind as he stalked them closely. The little goats roamed the museum. The little goats roamed the museum. They stopped before every piece and shared the information with their friends. Their teacher was so proud of them. At the end of such a delightful museum visit, They stopped in front of the most valuable piece in the museum, the Mona Lisa painting. The bad wolf used the crowd to his advantage to get even closer to the little goats. One of the little goats was telling her friend about Mona Lisa. You miserable little goats! Now you're done! I knew it! It was the bad wolf back on the plane! The little goat scampered away, screaming, and the scene was chaotic. Mayhem broke out, as other visitors in the museum also joined in, not knowing what was going on. But the bad wolf stayed put. His true intentions were different. Taking advantage of the stampede, he stole the Mona Lisa painting and tried to run for the exit. He wanted to sell the painting so he could become rich. In the confusion, nobody saw Bad Wolf stealing the painting. However, the youngest of the little goats saw what had happened. He knew he had to stop the big Bad Wolf. Brothers, sisters, follow my voice so you can find me. The other little goats heard the youngest goat's voice and immediately went to him. Are you okay? Did that wretch hurt you? No, he is not here to hurt us. Whoa, why is he running away? What's that in his hand? His plan was to use us to create diversion and steal that valuable painting. We have to bring the painting back. What does the wolf hate the most? <laughs> Taking a bath, of course. We all know how stinky he is. <laughs> then let's give him a bath. How? 
You've got your slingshot with you? Yes. How about your marbles? Of course. Listen to me closely then. After they finished scheming their plan, two little goats ran after the wolf. The goat that had the slingshot shot a marble at the fire sprinklers in the hallway where the wolf was running. The sprinklers went off as soon as the marble hit. The wolf was caught by surprise. What's going on? Where did all this water come from? I hate getting wet. The other marble coming from the slingshot triggered another sprinkler. The floor was flooded. The bad wolf slipped and fell to the ground, along with the painting. The museum guards arrested the wolf right away. Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting, The Mona Lisa, was hung back to its original place. Later that day, the museum's manager gave a speech to congratulate the seven little goats for their heroic act and presented them with beautiful gifts. When they returned to their town, their mother and townspeople were so proud of them They carried the little goats on their shoulders to the school. And what about the bad wolf? At first, he stayed in the hospital for a long time. He was charged with grand theft. So, as punishment, he had to mop the museum floors for a whole year. He regretted what he'd done. But it was too late. Once upon a time, seven little goats lived happily with their mother in a cute green town where the sun was always bright. The seven little goats went to the town school every day. They loved the school, their teacher and their friends. One day, before classes began, they started playing volleyball in the garden. Kids, please calm down. There's no need to be unpleasant towards each other. Gather around. I've got some good news for you. We'll start playing matches in big cities in order to qualify for the National League. Yay! We'll have to train harder from now on. Our first match is next week. Remember that. You must play like a team if you want to win. We will keep that in mind. The seven little goats got their backpacks excitedly and went home. Hello, kids! Mom! Mom guess what guess happened, what happened today? today? What happened? Tell me. But one at a time, please. Mommy, our coach told us we'll play against other schools next week in order to play in the National League. This is great news. I'm so proud of you kids. Now, I'll prepare your favorite meal. Hooray! In the meantime, do your homeworks. Do not waste any time. A 
a week went by. They were ready for the match after having trained hard every day. They decided to do one last practice match with the neighbouring town's team. All right, everybody ready? You're going to be late for school. You've got your equipment, right kids? Yes, yes Mom! Mom. Don't, don't, don't worry! worry. The little goats walked to school. Reminding one another about their tasks and what to do in the match. All right, kids. I believe in you. You trained so hard and trusted each other. Now we'll play our last practice match. Meanwhile, Wolf was plotting a scheme. He didn't like team games because he always wanted to steal the spotlight. If you're ready, let's begin our last practice match. Yes! The match was going well, but then Bad Wolf spiked the ball intentionally and hit one of the little goat's face so hard that the little goat fell to the ground. They stopped the match. Everybody got worried and they circled the little goat. Step aside, kids. The doctor will examine him now. Everything's going to be okay. The doctor examined the little goat. The kid was recovering from the blow. Don't worry, kids. It's nothing serious. He just needs some rest. He can play again in three days. I can play in his place. I'm much better than him anyway. Uh, uh, I'm all right. Don't worry about me. I got hit on the face, but I don't remember the rest. I know what happened. I've had my eye on you for a while. You only think about yourself and do not believe in teamwork. I don't want any players hurting one another. I don't tolerate such behavior. I won't have bad sportsmanship in my team. Therefore, you cannot play in our team. Wolf didn't know what to do. He packed his things without saying a word and walked away. Now we are short a player, but do not fret. Our substitute players have trained as hard as you have and are ready for the match. Thank you, coach. I'll do my best. The little goats went home excitedly. They ate dinner and went to bed. They dreamed of the championship. Come on kids, it's time to get up. Today, it's your first match of the championship. Mommy, we are not late, are we? No, dear. Don't worry, there's still time. Mom, I can't find my sneakers. <laughs> we packed our things last night, remember? Mom, we are ready. We're ready! I wish you good luck. I believe you'll win as long as you believe in yourselves and the importance of teamwork. Love you all! It was time for the match. The little goats played well on the court and won the match. Our little brother was not bad at all. You did better than I expected, children. Congratulations! We have five more important matches ahead of us. There will be one match every week, and each time we'll play on a different court. Now, let's go back to the town and keep training for the championship. Mommy, we won our match. match! That's great news! I'm so happy, kids! I'm so proud of you! We play one match every week! I'm so tired 
that I just want to go to bed. But I'm also starving. <laughs> of course, it's not easy what you did. You used up all your energy. Food is ready. Let's set the table together and eat. Weeks pass by quickly. The little goats won every match. They were eagerly awaiting the final match. Meanwhile, Bad Wolf refused to stay on the sidelines. So, he managed to get a player position in the final match. I can't wait to see the little goats' faces when they see me on the court. <laughs> Fortunately, I found a coach who knows what a good player I am. I'm going to teach them a lesson this time. <laughs> The day of the final match was here. The coach huddled the players to give them a few strategies. Do you see what I'm seeing? I can't believe it! How did this happen? This is the championship match, kids. Don't let anything bring you down. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the real champion. The match started and Bad Wolf, with the advantage of his height, began to score for his team. The poor little goats could neither get any points nor could they prevent Wolf from scoring. When the first set was over, the opponent team was crushing the little goats team. We have to do something or we'll lose the game! What can we do? Didn't you see how Wolf strikes the ball with such anger? You're overlooking something, kids. What? Wolf is the only active player in the opponent team. So? So, if you all play to stop Wolf, you can beat them. But you need teamwork for that. Remember, a volleyball match consists of three sets. We've got two more sets. I have a plan. Now listen carefully. The second set began. Wolf had the ball and when he went to strike the ball, he was immediately met with the block. He was dumbfounded and the little goat scored the point. Whenever the players of the opponent team tried to step in, Wolf yelled at them to pass the ball to him. The little goats already knew what they had to do. The opponent's team's players got so mad at Wolf that they stepped off the court and left the match. I've never seen anything like this before. So much for teamwork! Wolf was left alone on the court and the little goats won the match easily. Wolf realised his mistake but it was too late. The little goats held the trophy above their heads proudly. They understood the importance of teamwork that day and went back to their town happily. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo Sun and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.